Thanks for tuning in to this video weather briefing. Here we're going to take a look at the potential weather for the holiday week coming up as we round out the end of December 2018. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist at the National Weather Service. All right, as we gear into the holiday season, we want to remind you that whenever there is weather in the area, these are some of the social media hashtags that we use for wind and California weather, such as drought, flooding, and just general storms. So far, since the beginning of the water year, October 1st, this is how we're shaping up. Across the west, a lot of areas are still running below normal, despite a couple large storm systems. Now across Southern California, you can see we are in the green and purple shade. That means 100 to 150% of normal. So we've off to a pretty good start. In fact, we've seen in some areas more rain this fall or start of the water season than all of last year water season. A lot of that came from two Pacific storms and some of that came from a tropical weather system. Across uh, much of the west, you can see that some of that heavy precipitation has spread into the southwestern deserts as shown in those purple and blue shades. How are the drought conditions shaping up since this precipitation occurred? Well, drought has improved in parts of California, including the southeastern part of the state but we still have large precipitation deficits over the past couple years and reservoir levels, at least the local smaller ones, continue to remain low. How are things in the Pacific Ocean? Well, we are continue to watch the El Nino development. That would be at the bottom of your screen in that long rectangle along the equator. That area is observing significant warming. However, the atmosphere has not responded to this warming yet. Now, elsewhere in the Eastern Pacific, we can also see that there's considerable warm areas, so water temperatures that are above normal. That includes the California coast, and that has likely helped with some of the weather systems that's moved through and created the locally heavy rainfall. Also, you can see across the Northern Pacific, a large area of above normal ocean temperatures and those continue to be in place in that area. So overall, the Pacific is uh, running much above normal, including the development of the El Nino across the equator. If we zoom up a little bit in Southern California, we can see that we're looking at anomalies of several degrees Fahrenheit. So water off the Point Conception area is not bath water, but it is running quite a bit above what it should be. What this can do is help with some of the local rainfall rates, especially along the coast. But of course, you need a weather system. You need a storm system moving through to generate that instability. What's it going to look like for Christmas Day? We are now tracking a storm system that is poised to move into Southern California rather quickly on Christmas Day. Since it is quick moving, it should bring considerable to locally strong wind with it, especially in the mountains and deserts. It'll also likely give us a shot of valley rain, coastal rain, and then also snow in the mountains. So considerations to watch as we get closer to Christmas for your travel plans. There is another system upstream as indicated by the L. There's much uncertainty if that will follow a similar path for Christmas week. But nonetheless, this active weather will eject out of Southern California and head into the plains, as shown here along the white line, which would be the jet stream. Here's the official outlook, and you can see the active weather, the wet weather, the rain and snow, will follow the green shaded areas, first entering California right around Christmas Eve and then blasting through Southern California and ejecting into the Central Plains. It will also pump up some really warm air. So some locally uh, heavy rainfall with all that warm air and moisture coming up from the Gulf as well. Now on the back side of it, you can see below normal temperatures over the mountains of California and Nevada. So a quick taste of winter weather for the West Coast 
and then some really active weather setting up as that ejects into the middle part of the country. Not many areas below normal for the week of Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, except for the extreme east coast. So before you depart for the holidays, make sure you check the forecasts each day at weather.gov. Click on the location you're going to and you can get your latest forecast. Once you click on the map at weather.gov, it'll bring you to your local National Weather Service and you can find out much more detailed information such as what's shown on this map here.